welcome to Christmas in Layla Land day two. Very exciting. Today I'm going to talk you through my monthly favourites for the month of November just gone. Don't have a massive amount of things but we do have a few so let's just get cracking. I'm going to start with skincare. It's something that I've been really really trying to focus on for the last few months. I really want to get involved with being more proactive with my skincare. I'm a huge believer in prevention being better than the cure and I certainly don't want to look at my skin one day and think oh I really could have looked after you better. So I've really been looking after my skin lately. The biggest um, component in my skin feeling so much better has been Revolution Skincare. So I've been using three of their products for the past two months. This is actually my second pot of this. I absolutely love it. It's my favourite cream, hands down. The first of the serums from Revolution Skincare is this one, which I use on my under eye area. And this is the 5% Caffeine and hyaluronic acid solution uh, and this is the targeted under eye serum it's absolutely gorgeous they're in these really cute glass bottles that just feel and look really high-end really luxurious look great on the um nightstand this has made such a difference to my under eye area i was starting to get that kind of dehydrated fine line look coming which i'm going to get I'm getting older it's gonna happen to every single one of us um I laugh a lot I've got a very expressionate face I don't know if anybody's ever noticed um so I'm gonna get lines it's fine it's not a problem but I want the skin to be in good condition the lines I'm not too bothered about it's the skin being in good condition that I am concerned about but as well as making the under eye area smoother, it's made it so much more taut, which I notice obviously when I'm putting my eyeliner on, when I'm putting makeup on, it's just so much more taut and smooth. Um, any fine lines that were coming through have just gone. Um, so yeah, I'm loving that one. The next item that I use is the 10% Matrixil Serum. Um, this is wrinkle and fine line reducing serum. Um, so this, I use two drops, so dink dink, Pat those together, dot it around my face, and two drops, trust me, is enough. I have got dry skin that just soaks up every bit of product going. Two drops on my skin is absolutely fine. I can do my face and I can do down onto my neck with that. Now, I've been having, and I'm going to talk about this in another video, but I've been having a couple of treatments um, on my face for the past few months as well. And this... Oh my god, as well as the other treatments has made such a difference. I've not had as many breakouts, it's not been as sensitive, it's not reacted as much anyway. Um, I tend to have a problem when I'm coming out of the shower, my face will be red and blotchy and puffy um, as soon as water gets on it. This it hasn't been the case, touch wood, and I'm convinced it's this. The next one in the range is the Hydration Boost Gel Cream, and this for me is the holy grail in skincare this i found to be a really wet consistency which means it's going straight into those layers of your skin and really really nourishing it but it's not disappearing so it's an amazing texture it glides on there's no stretching and pulling at your skin and making it any worse and making it more sensitive it's cooling it's refreshing it's absolutely gorgeous next um, in skincare is oh oh if you've been around me for the past few weeks, you will know how obsessed I am with this. It's like another family member. So this is the NYX lip oil. What's it called? Hashtag this is everything lip oil. And it really is. Oh my God. If you've been around here for a while, you will know that I had my lips done recently with filler uh, for the first time ever. And obviously I've spent a lot of money on them. And two, it was very, very painful, so I want to keep them looking as nice as possible. And one of the ways you can get your lips to look nice and plump and healthy is by moisturising them. This is amazing. This, you only need to use a couple of times a day. It moisturises, it leaves a beautiful gloss, it smells nice without being overpoweringly scented. Um, it's in a beautiful little package. I mean, just look at that. I think this was £6, five or £6, and oh my god. I... Seem to remember I saw somewhere that NYX have just launched some new lip oils as well, so I think I'm going to go and um, snaffle some of those for over Christmas. Oh my god. Sticking with the skin, and I've got the new Zoella Cosmic Cream Body Lotion from the new collection. Um, for my birthday, um, Paul very kindly gave me a voucher, and from it I bought the Zoella gift box with lots and lots of a new range in it. This is my favourite from that whole range. It smells absolutely gorgeous. <coughs> It's so fresh. It's almost sort of pink peppercorny kind of deal. Does it say what's in it? It doesn't say what the scent is, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's another kind of typical from Zoella 
freshly scented, really nice, um, uplifting fragrance without being overpowering and too strong. As a moisturiser, it's gorgeous. The consistency and texture of it is super nice. It feels rich without being too thick and claggy on the skin. Um, soaks in really really well but still leaves you feeling really moisturized and really nourished um this for me as well is super super nice to put on just before i go to bed so i'll put lots of moisturizer on my legs my arms get my pajamas on and i just go to bed feeling really nicely lightly fragranced and feeling fresh and feeling comfortable in my skin um and just gives me a really nice sleep last in the skincare section is the charcoal peel off face mask from primark this is my last one i'm gonna have to go and stock up this week oh my god i love these these are your typical charcoal face mask they go on black and you peel it off I don't think they're that painful, but maybe these aren't the ones that are really painful. Um, but yeah, these are gorgeous. And they actually peel off in one go. Some peel off masks I can't stand because they come off in bits and you have to stand there faffing about with them for half an hour. This doesn't. Apply it. It doesn't go on too thick. It just goes on really nicely, really soothing, really calming. Sit and relax for 10-15 minutes and then pull it off and it just peels off in one go um, and takes away with it dead skin, blackheads, whatever else it wants to take with it um, and just leaves you with the nicest, freshest, dewy looking skin that is just ready to soak in all of our serums, moisturisers and all that good stuff um, and they're 80p. So whenever you're in Primark, go and have a quick look at the skincare section, grab yourself a handful of these um, and just stock up because these, I guarantee, will be a godsend over winter. When the skin starts really drying out, these are going to be an absolute godsend. Love them! Onto palettes. You will not be surprised that we have a couple of palettes in the favourites list this month. The first one being the Obsession. Oh, they're both from Obsession, actually. <gasps> I think that's a first. Well done, Obsession. Not that they care. Um... <laughs> Why they bothered whether little old me puts them in a favourite or not. So this is the Obsession, if in doubt, be a unicorn palette that I think was launched for Halloween, or it was launched around that time anyway, as a bit of a uh, antidote from all the dark black things that were going on. Um, so in here, we've got some gorgeous, chunky glitters going on. We've got some shimmers and a couple of mattes as well. The one thing that I want to get across from this is how vibrant these colours are. These are insanely pigmented and vibrant and vivid um i did a look using this and got so many gorgeous com compliments and comments from you lots so thank you very much um the glitters the chunky glitters were a little difficult to work with at first but once you get the hang of them and once you kind of work out where you want to put them they're absolutely incredible um they're really creamy and really beautiful um but yeah I absolutely love this so much. The second palette in the favourites for November, you will not be surprised, is the Belle Jordan palette that she did in collaboration with Obsession again. Oh my god. Absolutely love it. The shade selection is incredible. You can get so many different looks from it. There are shades that people with deeper, darker skin can use. There is something for everybody in this palette, which I like. It's 2018, we are nearly in 2019. Going forward, there is no excuse for anybody bringing out a palette like this, unless you've got ones specifically for light, medium, darker skins, there's no excuse. If you are coming out with a palette and you're intending it to be a one-stop shop, it has to include shades for absolutely everybody. There is no excuse anymore. It's just not acceptable. Um, so yeah, I feel like this has got shades for everybody. There's super colourful shades if you want to do a super colourful look. If you want to keep it nice and neutral, you can do that as well. There's more traditional colours. You can mix and match. Oh, I just think it's beautiful. Um, amazing to travel with. It's got a huge mirror on it as well and it looks beautiful in your collection as well gorgeous i think this was 10 pounds and i got this from boots but it is on revolutionbeauty.com as well also on the revolution beauty website is this little bad boy this is from i Heart revolution and is the girl's best friend triple baked diamond highlighter let me get it out of the box for you i know for christmas they've done some of these um baked highlighters in star shapes which look really cute for christmas um but my absolute favorite is this one so it's in this diamond shape box there and we open it to see oh the gorgeous 
gorgeous. It's the highlighter I'm wearing at the moment. Um, it's super blinding, but you can dab it over with um, a damp beauty sponge as well, just to um, tone it down and make it look like it's more of a glow from within. I use it on in the inner corner for a highlight. Obviously, I use it on my face as a highlight. You can use it on your collarbones. Um, this, I just find myself reaching for this time and time again. I love highlighters. I have got so many highlighters. But this is the one that I know will go with absolutely any makeup look that I do. Um, and just, yeah, it's just my favourite again. It's just the one that, again, I keep reaching for. I love it so much. Probably should have done this one first because we use it first when I'm when I'm putting my makeup on. Um, but my favourite primer has got to be the NYX Honey Dew Me Up. I always get the name wrong. Um, this is gorgeous. It is the gloopiest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. It is honey, as you would expect. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but there's the little flecks that you've got in here are actual gold. It is beautiful. This for me leaves my skin so dewy and fresh looking and healthy looking. It is the most perfect base to put my makeup on top of. Even to use this just on its own, just get, lives, you, lives your skin, leaves your skin looking really dewy and really healthy and really, really vibrant. So yeah, we're loving that one. Last on my makeup list is my favourite mascara. If you haven't got your hands on the Mascara Revolution from Revolution Beauty, then go and get one. I don't care how you like your mascara to be. I don't care what type of eyelashes you've got. It will work and it will look fabulous. This, for me, is a game changer. Look how beautiful and expensive that looks for a start. And I think it was like six pounds, maybe? Maybe eight pounds. The product itself is incredible. Just look at the size of this wand. And if you can see the shape of it, it's kind of got its own little hourglass figure going on. And that makes sure it gets every single one of your lashes. The bristles themselves are the silicon bristles and they really, there's like different lengths of bristles. So they really pick up every single lash, all the little short ones that are, get missed. I'm incredibly lucky. I do have really long eyelashes naturally anyway, so that's fine. They coat mine so, so well. Um, I've basically used one coat on the top, one dip for me, just one coat on the top lashes and one coat on the bottom lashes. One dip in again and the other eye. And that's absolutely ideal. If you want to build it up, it will give you that really nice, chunky, full lash effect. If you don't like that, just use one coat. It's absolutely brilliant. And I promise you, it's so good that one coat will coat all of your eyelashes. It's amazing. Love it. So yeah, since I bought this, this is another one I haven't used any other mascaras since I've used, since I bought this one. It's just that good. One thing that I have been loving throughout November is this. You may have seen this on my Instagram stories. This is my Adventures as a Unicorn, a Happy Life Weekly Planner. My mum bought me this for my birthday at the end of October and it has not left my side since. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we've got the pink um, hardback book with obviously the My Adventures as a Unicorn in the iridescent um, metallic -y, shimmery right in there and then we've got this fabric band with the glittery uh, shimmer on it there as well um, bless her it came with some stickers so she gave me some extra unicorn stickers as well because she's that cute um, then inside I mean just look it's all gorgeously printed inside it's beautiful we then do get stickers as well so we've got unicorn stickers in there be a unicorn twinkle stardust Never Stop Chasing Rainbows, which is very good advice, I feel. Um, stay Magical, and then there's little cute little jellyfish with a bow on her head. Um, so yeah, love that. Right, I'm just going to turn to a page that I haven't filled in. So in it, we've got all different pages like that. They're all, every page is totally different. Um, this one is a gorgeous, sunshiny, cheerful yellow. And this is basically got Monday to Friday and then Saturday and Sunday are in uh, little sections, smaller sections there because hopefully we've got less to do on a weekend. Um, we've on every page as well got a little note there and it's like your little goals for the week and it gives you little pointers on um, one is um, I'm going to do something kind for somebody else by doing and you think of something you're going to do that's kind for somebody else. This one says I'm going to escape life for a moment on a magical ride too and something that you're going to you would fill that in with maybe something that you're going to do that just lets you forget about everything. For me, my ideal for doing that is horse riding. So maybe on that week, I'll try and get a horse riding session in. Um, and then over here, we've got a notes section on each page as well. And there's just cute little illustrations. Um, we've got the date, but you write your own date in. So you can, you can pick this up 
whenever you need to and just start on the next page there's none of that calendar guilt if you haven't picked it up for three weeks and you pick it up and it's shouting at you saying uh excuse me three weeks has gone by we don't need that we don't need any calendar guilt we've been busy okay okay another thing that i've been loving if you saw my vlog where paul and i went to london for the revolution event um i have been obsessed with big boy hats these are both from primark um this was the one i wore in london and i'm just i love it they go with everything if you want to dress up they look smart if you want to keep it nice and casual they look really cute as well um so yeah love those love that one so much that i went and got a gray one as well so between the two of them they pretty much go with everything i own and are just just gorgeous i mean look i just love them look just look they're so cute they're so cute they just go with absolutely everything instant hat hair so yeah i've been loving those sticky with clothing as well has anybody seen me on instagram in this oh look at it it's so cute this i went christmas shopping in primark for some decorations walked past this and sort of side-eyed it on my way to look at something and thought right if that is 20 quid or less that's going in the basket and i got there and it was 20 quid so obviously it came home with me just look at this it's a teddy bear bomber jacket it's so cute and oh trust me it is as warm and snuggly as it looks it's gorgeous so this love it so this for me has been my everyday jacket i love it it's just so cute it's so cute honestly this dungarees my little baker boy hat proper cute that was it for my november favorites what did you think is there any of your favorites on this list have you got anything similar that you think is better or you think i would like based on the fact that i love all those items i've just showed you if you haven't subscribed please go and do so please make sure you press the notification bell when you have subscribed make sure you leave me a comment down there as well and let me know what you thought and let me know your suggestions of things that you want me to try um and just let me know what you're doing let me know if you're looking forward to christmas yet are you getting in the christmas spirit yet have you put your decorations up yet you may be seeing some new decorations tomorrow and you may be seeing our decorations later on this week so make sure you're subscribed because it's all coming um but yeah other than that please remember that i love you very very lots please have an amazing day whatever it is you're doing next and i will see you tomorrow